what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and this is a quick review of the ET 100 this is definitely my favorite one of the series to fly indoors this thing flies really nice indoors the motors were really awesome as you guys may have noticed by now mines have different motors on it and the reason behind that is simply I killed one of my motors now the motors were really awesome I really liked the motors a lot it had the sunny sky 1103 7800 kV motors on it and these things perform really nice but this one just doesn't work anymore I crashed it I actually didn't crash it what happened was a string from my rug got caught up inside one of the props and I tried to take off really hard because I was flying FPV I didn't know what it was actually and it got caught to the point where it stopped the motor from moving and I just tried to do a punch out and this thing just stopped in midair and just fell down and I immediately turned it off but by that time the motor was done <laughs> so by the time I figured out what was going on with it um, I unraveled the string and all from the motor and the motor was just stuttering by that time and I was thinking that maybe it was the ESC's but I swapped out the 4-in-1 ESC and that didn't fix the issue so it's the motor that's dead and so now I have 11,500 kV motors on this thing these motors do scream they're really nice motors and but they're really comparable the sunny sky motors are really powerful I'm really surprised how much power we're coming out of these little motors here Sunny Sky Motors get the thumbs up from me for sure, but these motors here are a little more powerful. But the Sunny Sky Motors, they did have a really nice punch, not as much punch as the ET-115 or the ET-125, but it was really comparable to other quads of this size without the rings. And so this thing was flying really nice with the rings on it. I was flying it really nice indoors. And these prop guards here are really tough. I've crashed this thing a bunch of times and no sign that they're gonna break or anything I really wish they gave us some extras of these though but it seems like we won't be needing any extras though because these things are solid and it really doesn't hamper the flight characteristics too much so indoor flight with this is enjoyable and you don't have a lack of power or anything this thing just performs like it's a brushless as it's supposed to it outperforms your tiny whoop but it is a little larger than your tiny whoop the average tiny whoop is about this size and so you can see the comparison this is the mirror bot but check it out <laughs> so yes actually I do have a tiny whoop oh well this is not a tiny whoop actually this is <clears throat> this is the furry B F36 but it's the same exact size as the tiny whoop so you're not going to be able to fly through some of the holes that you're flying through with little tiny whoops. But you can get through a nice amount of things with this. You can fly underneath chairs and get behind tight spaces and all. It's just really fun. And you don't have to worry about damaging anything on the quad. Now, I think if you fly I think if you fly full speed into a window with this, of course that's not going to be good at all. <laughs> but <laughs> but for the most part your furniture is protected because these rings here are plastic and they really they have some bounce to them actually but they don't seem like they're going to break and so the prop I have never broken a prop with this thing yet but they do give you spares though they I think they give you two sets of spares it comes with this big box with all the accessories and all this fits inside the case without removing anything just like the uh, it's the same size case as you get with the other quads of the series and they fit inside the box I haven't flown this outdoors yet maybe I'll fly it outdoors with this maybe I'll fly it outdoors in this form I'm really sad to report to you guys that I didn't get any of the footage with these motors on it here <laughs> so uh, I was just having fun with it indoors and kill the motor before I even got to do any recording with it I was doing recording with the ET-115 and so here's a size comparison to that so not much smaller this is the one that I was saying that I would go with because this one flies great outdoors and you can almost fly it as well indoors as this one but this one has a little more power though 
but if you're just going if you're just thinking about flying indoors this one is definitely the way to go it's running multi-shot and multi-shot isn't bad at all i really like multi-shot but the problem is you need d shot 600 in order to run turtle mode turtle mode is a really nice option to have when you're flying indoors with something like this because when you flip over with turtle mode you can flip back over on your own without asking somebody else to flip it over for you or taking that long walk of shame upstairs or wherever you crash that to flip it back over yourself you can just flip it over with the transmitter with turtle mode but there is a mod that has to be done in order to get D shot 600 running on this and so I think I'll show you guys that definitely in another video but for the most part this is a really nice flyer I really like it pretty awesome let's run down a little bit of the specs just before we go so the motors are 1103 7800 kv the props are 1935 king kong props but i think these are the newer versions that are more durable you can tell by those little that little space in between there if you remove these rings i'm pretty sure you'll be able to fit some larger props it has a 800 tvl camera on here and it has that same 25 milliwatt to 100 milliwatt switchable vtx and it comes preset to 100 milliwatts and i'll show you guys someone someone asked about showing how do you get this back to 25 milliwatts i think so i'll show you guys how to get it down to 25 milliwatts and oh yeah it comes with a battery the battery for this one is a little different than the others in the series it actually comes with a stick battery this one here but it's still a gmb battery 450 milliamp hours pretty nice and so it comes with a slightly lighter battery i did swap out the jst for an xt30 and i did the same on the battery so you can see there i do have fly sky in mind i have a fly sky receiver sticking out there is the antenna you can see and that's about it pretty awesome indoor flyer my favorite out of the three for indoor flying the et100 from lda rc all right y'all it's snowing out here i didn't know it was snowing out here but i just wanted to bring this et100 out here to show you guys what it flies like and to see for myself what it flies like with these motors too because i haven't flown it with these motors yet but get this thing in the air okay so let's take off with it the battery has been exposed to the cold a little bit and let's check a punch out with it so nice punch out let's check it again Thing flies nice. Let's do some FPV with it. Okay, the battery sounds like it's getting a little weak. <laughs> really cold out here. Yeah, okay, battery's getting a little weak. <laughs> no buzzer going off though. There we go. Got some of the buzzer here. <laughs> so this thing's got some punch now.
Here we go with the buzzer. Let's bring it in. I really don't want to crash this little guy. This is my favorite indoor flyer for the brushless. 